Hello and welcome to the Banner Saga, where you're about to see a wave of sheer terror. You're about to see a crimson behemoth that's g gonna just scare you like you've never felt before. It's a Bellowar. Get the Mender out of here, and run. Your legs move almost with a will of their own, so you can't pull yourself away from watching what happens next. Well, what's gonna happen next? Another battle, possibly? A one-on-one? -on -one? No. No, that's not fair. So what can this guy do? He's he's unkillable. How many so how many one, two, three. I can move forward three. So he can go one, two. He can go one, two, three. He can move here. So let's move up right here and do nothing. Oh god. And he skipped my turn. Well, what the heck? You're definitely gonna lose, dude. Three. Get his armor down. He dealt two damage. I dealt four. What the heck, you're not gonna be able to win this, dude. Now I'm stunned, and he's gonna kill me. Oh no. Okay, I can deal two damage. I dealt three damage to him. And now he just killed me. Well, what am I supposed to do? He's injured. Why would you do that, Ivor? There's no way that you can possibly win. What was the point of that? You lost an arm. Avend. What the heck is happening? Oh my gosh. The Wyrm. Thank God we saved this mender. It's a massive serpent. Even Bellor backs away. Leans in close to inspect the two armies. Indifferently lurches over the mountainside and out of sight. Haken shouts orders above the dim. Rolf rush forward, bowling over surprised Jedge, grain and gowned. Bellor is receded back into the horde. Jorunder watches from atop the stairs. Maybe I should have attacked his attack instead. Hurry! You rush to Ivor, laying on the ground amidst the fighting, despite a missing arm. Ivor, you're stupid. Let's go to the market. Can we buy anything? Ah, still not enough. Dang. How much time does Ivor need to rest? Oh, no one's at my party. Something screwed up. Okay, let's just talk to this guy, I guess. Hello? Avend? Can you hear me? Oh, let's get out of the equation! Get out of here! The Mender has possibly died. He used some magic to save Ivor. What the heck? Exe Meek? Your sight swims as if underwater. Memories fly away like startled ravens before you can capture them. With great effort, you remember who you are. You know. Who know? You know. There's a monumental serpent speaking to you now. The last certainty was that you died some time ago and that it is about to happen again. Okay, so you died before and now you're going to die again. He's going to kill you. Oh, wait, you blocked it? Oh, Juno, you're just pretty strong. What is this? Is this a Varro right here? Okay, so we just got a random cutscene. A Juno can deflect the attacks of the Serpent. Okay, if you're not going to die, we must speak instead. Who are you? 
My name is Juno. You are a Juno? It means nothing to me. Maybe I've asked the wrong question. What are you? What is your purpose? First, tell me what you are. Do you ask the hammer what the blacksmith is making? Do you have, okay, so hold on. Let me try to understand this expression. He asked me, who are you? What do you do? And I said, first tell me what you, who you are. And then he says, do you ask the hammer what the blacksmith is making? So he's describing himself as a hammer? There's apparently some child coming to slay him with a magic sword. I will give you a prophecy. I am the end. I will devour. It is my purpose to devour the world and, and end it. Okay. I like that. I think that's pretty cool. Oh, look. There's just like... Oh. I think that's cool. Okay. But I cannot. Instead, now comes a wall of night to consume your pitiful world. The dredge. So he wants to end the world, but the dredge are interrupting him. And here's Juno in some sort of space. No, it is darkness. The egg white that has turned black. Oh yeah, the sun isn't there anymore. I meant to devour the tapestry itself, not idly witness the dusk smother this rock. A worm crawling through a dung field. Who are you to take my destiny? What are you? Turn what is mine. Okay, we're gonna have a fight with the serpent. Juno versus serpent. Boom. Avent. Well, I'm really glad we saved this Mender guy. Juno, you're alive. How are you? Oh, that must be his wife. I mean, dude, thank God we saved this guy. What if we didn't save this guy? We would have been missing all this story. It's crazy. A serpent was trying to kill me. Now I'm talking to you. Time is moving strangely. I've lost a lot of memories. But I found you. Serpent said something about a long bridge. I took a guess. Came after you? He saw that iron top you. Okay. He tried to turn me to the ash after we spoke. I'd be surprised if that's the last we've seen of it. He tried to land apart across cities if I wanted. What do we do? It gets worse. A prophecy of the gods that I've never heard of. Are still prophecies out there? The serpent was supposed to swallow the world. Instead, some kind of darkness is seeping from the north. It devours whatever it touches. That would explain like... like Oh, that would explain why the dredge are swarming on us. Okay, so the dredge apparently lived in the north, and there is some darkness that is creeping up in the north that is forcing the dredge to run south, and that's why we have to defend our land. Avon, are you in danger? A bellower is here. A borrower holding him off, but not for much longer. Come on, we we could have killed him if we had if we allowed everyone to fight, but for some reason they're like, oh, let's do the one on one. You'll have to do this the hard way. I will return to Strand and find passage down the Red River. You must leave Ironortoft and meet me in Sigurholm. Okay. So we gotta go to Sigurholm. I love you. There you go, Juno. What's with your hair, Juno? And you have, like, wings and stuff. Alright. So we are going to listen to everything that the Mender says. He is the main guy. How long was I? You're out for a couple days. How do you feel? Juno, I need to meet her in Sigurholm. She's my mentor on the member on the mentor council. She contacted me. The Varl are holding the dredge back. Beller has disappeared. Ivor is still out of it. Haken looting a couple hundred Varl, Varl to Ab Arboring. Take me to Sigurholm. Juno is going to meet us there. I could destroy that godforsaken bridge myself. That would delay the immediate threat, but Jurinder would never agree to it. Why won't the Varl King destroy the bridge? He'll let the city and the rest of the world fall before that bridge. How could you collapse the bridge by yourself? What do we do about the Bellower?
What is going on around here? The gods made men varl. In the first great war, the armies of men and varl hated each other. They fought bitterly for land of dominance. And then one of the gods created the dredge, and they were such a threat that unless men and varl set aside their differences, they threatened to wipe out both races. So they did. They ended the war, pushed the dredge into the north, and formed an alliance that has held ever since. The second great war began generations later. The dredge rallied their forces, defeated the varl, who watched the borders and laid waste to unsuspecting settlements throughout the world. They were led by Sunder, powerful dredge warlords and weavers like Bellor. He was during the Second Great War. Humanity was on the brink of extinction and when the inner circle of menders went forth and finally sent the Sunder and dredge deep underground. For the most part, dredge haven't returned since until now. Those menders were called Valka. So another great war has begun. If I didn't think the world was ending, it would be incredible. Ancient history is playing out before us. What about the serpent? That's another story. Must have something to do with the dredge. I need time to think about this. He's in the Great Hall. Well, I don't want to tear that bridge down. It's like a world wonder. I want to keep it up. I don't want... Okay, I do not want to destroy the bridge. That is one thing I don't want to do. Oh, and the items changed. Protects from death, unless strength is one. Two strength assists, plus one will per kill. This is pretty good, too. But we have to spend our food. Wait, no, no, we don't. We do not need to. Let's go to our heroes. Can we upgrade anyone? Who can, who can we upgrade? What the heck happened to so many people? Get in there. And Krumer, you too. No, no, no. Logan. Alet! Who the heck cares about Alet? Get out of there! I want Avend. I want Avend. Okay, for some reason we can't have Avend. Okay. Fessalt. He's a rank 3 provoker. Okay, we are going to promote you, Fessalt. Promote. We don't even have enough to promote him. Promote. We don't have enough to promote you either. We don't have enough to promote anyone. Except for, like, Alette. But who the heck wants to promote Alette? Alright, let's go to the Great Hall. What if we leave without even talking? That would be hilarious. Rook. He keeps saying to himself. I ever kill Asunder? I don't want to tear the bridge down. Okay, I'll leave. We're going to fight him cuz I don't want to I don't I don't want to tear that bridge down. Okay, we're going to pause. I don't even know how long we've been recording this for.